there we go. Hi. <laughs> Those paintings look beautiful back there. Hey. Hi, everyone. We are live here on Facebook and on Zoom. Um, yeah, my name is Kathy Hamblin, and I work here at the museum. And I've been there quite a while. And we usually have a fall arts and crafts fair. And we usually have it on site and it's a, a very much loved event and we when we couldn't have it this year we decided we wanted to do something and came up with this artist a day where we're featuring different vendors for our fall arts and crafts fair. so you can all join us online and just a few things that I want to share with you you can use the Q&A here on zoom to ask questions I will have some contact info for Jenny Ann in the chat so that you can contact her. And if you're watching us on Facebook, go ahead and put your comments in there. I'll be looking at those too, and we will get any of your questions and comments to Jenny Ann. And now I'm going to turn it over to Karen Swanson, our host for the evening. Hi, Kathy. Thank you. And uh, for all of you that don't know yet, can you hear me? Yes, okay. I can. And um, for all of you that don't know us yet, if you haven't watched all of our lives yet, Kathy is my sister. And- um, Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, she is. And um, so uh, the museum is a very special place for our family. My dad was a homesteader there. So we're part of a pioneer family. So um, we've been to many of these arts and crafts fairs and Kathy has worked a lot of them. Uh, I enjoy it all because it's shopping to me. I love it. And it's the most beautiful things from people's hearts that they put love into what they create. And, and I really get that. So I'm not an artist myself, but I really, really do enjoy seeing all these wonderful things and getting to chat with you while you show them too is really a lot of fun. But I think this one will be really meaningful to us. So without any more, um, delays, I want to turn this over to Jenny Ann and, and go ahead, Jenny, tell us what you got. Hi. Um, well, I'm Jenny Ann. Um, I started in art uh, about when I was 19. I had a car accident and uh, didn't, I never really was an artist before that. It was really weird and uh, was always a workaholic. So I needed to do something to uh, with my time and I couldn't work. So um, I started doing art and all of a sudden I could draw. It was really weird. And then um, became a paramedic for 27 years and, you know, just did a little bit of art here and there. And um, then uh, recently had to retire from that because of my knees, you know, we all have an expiration date. So yeah. started back up in art again, just um, here not too long ago. I never really lost it, but, um, but, uh, in the past few years, I had a lot of losses and, um, turn, you know, they were all cremated and I wanted to do something with the cremains. So I started doing art with the cremains. <laughs> so that's what started my um, Forever Feathers website. And um, then I just branched out into different forms of art. And um, so the first pieces that I'm going to show you um, have people's cremains in them. And then, um, then I'll get into some of my other art. But this is um, a bracelet that's a beach scene. It's on a bazelle. And the cremains are the sand. That is so beautiful. This was the part that I was really looking forward to because yeah. there are so many more cremations going on nowadays that yeah. and sometimes they pass them around from family member to family member, not really knowing what to do. And I think this is a great idea because you can give a piece to each member of the, of the every loved one that wants one. Right. And um, I do a plate like this. It's a six inch plate that looks just like this. Um, I can do earrings like this. I can do a ring like this. Um, and it can be all different metals. It can be stainless steel. It can be 925 silver. 
it can be in gold. It just depends on how much money you want to spend and, you know, what you want it to look like. But it starts with these bezels. So this particular one is a bracelet. And then I have these little uh, pendants. You know, they come in any shape, size, whatever. Um, I've done... Um, you'll see on my website, they're all gone and spoken for, but they're, they're, you know, I have the pyramid and the chunks. Um, and then, you know, uh, mortuaries now are doing fingerprints. So this is, this just happens to be my brother's fingerprint that I put on canvas. Um, I've put up them on plates. Um, so that's part of my custom work that I do. Um, I can put anything into resin. I've put my bird's feathers into resin, um, a hairnet into resin, put, um, little pieces of, uh, a kid's birthday party, like elements from their birthday party, like the cake toppers and, uh, little feathers from these boas and that's in a heart shaped resin and that's all on the the forever feathers uh, website so that's um, what I are, do we already uh, have a question sorry to interrupt that's okay but somebody asked what how much a bracelet like that would run say uh, let's just give an example of something middle of the road metal this the stainless steel ones are uh, 40. So, and then it would go up from there. This, this stainless steel one would be 40. Um, and stainless then, steel is a great metal though, because it doesn't, it doesn't oxidize and all that stuff that the regular metals that are used in costume jewelry do, so. Right, so then it, it jumps up quite a bit um, to silver. I mean, it, it just doubles and triples from there as you, metals get quite a bit more expensive um but the if you just want a, a plain pendant you know like that um without the chain then that's gonna run a little bit less um so it just depends on what you want you just um have to kind of get with me to um decide on what kind of thing that you you want to have so i already have these particular bracelets in stock but they are really small i have a really small wrist so you can if you have a larger wrist it's not probably going to work for you um but it does open up quite a bit too um but i have these in stock that's why i can do these for for cheaper um but you know it just depends on what kind of chain you want and you know that so well the nice thing about the pendant itself is if you got the pendant you could put it on a chain to wear around your neck you could put it on a charm bracelet you could put it a lot of different places like i know a lot of guys who will not wear a pendant on a chain around their neck but they would put that like on a keychain or someplace else special i've seen people hang things from their motorcycles so right you know and right. that to them is de definitely someplace special if i was hanging from someone's motorcycle i would feel loved <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> right. So that's um, some of my uh, real custom work, like the 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 cremain and the memorial stuff. And then I do these um, encaustic pieces that are also super custom. And it's it's a uh, like a resin wax. Um, so, you know, it can, can't be in direct sunlight, but I use mostly resin, so it would take a lot to melt this, um, but it's another, um, it's a seven layered piece. So it's, it's a wax material and it's called encaustic. So I do those as well. Now, is that, does that also have ashes in it or just the first things you talked about? I can put ashes into anything. Okay. So um, literally anything. I've put ashes into a beer bottle. 
Um, I've put ashes into paintings. I've put ashes into the plates. I've put ashes into the encaustics. I've put ashes everywhere. So, yeah. Yeah, this is the first time I ever heard of the word encaustic, so I wasn't quite sure what that was. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a form of art. You can color you can color the wax and drizzle it, so it's three dimensional. There's a lot of things you can do with it, but um, the encaustic photo transfer is the custom part that I do. That's really neat. That would be a nice memory to have too. That's that's great for granddaughter pictures. I have a granddaughter, so yeah and then i have these little bottles that i'm i do oh that and those huge. those all have those all have little sayings on them tipsy and bright is that the, is yeah that, one? I love that it. one's tipsy and bright this one is so freaking merry oh no another merry thing my sister's name is mary m-e-r-y Oh, that's cute. And she, she loves wine, too. <laughs> and this one is Tis the Season to be Drinking. All right. <laughs> and then Making Spirits Bright. All right. And the satiny ones are 22 and the clear ones are 20. And then I'll get up and show you some of my pieces. <laughs> This one right here, unfortunately, is not for sale because I just won a contest with that and it's kind of spoken for, but that's some of the work that I do. That's me. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but hold on. <laughs> All right. Can you move this chair out? Where did you work as a paramedic? Just out of curiosity. Um, I started in Scottsdale in 1995, and then, uh, boy, I've been all over. I most recently went to Yuma. Okay, cool. And we have a lot of firefighter paramedics in our family. I was an EMT years ago in the 80s in, in Flagstaff. Wow. And then this piece is for sale. Wow. That's um, this, Sedona all over it to me. Yeah, <laughs> this is for sale. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, I can. Um, these are for sale. That's really pretty. Oh, look at the colors. Yeah. And then this big one is for sale. What medium is that one on? Uh, this one is resin. Um, and then it's like a, it's like a textured, um, it's like a textured, almost cement type of thing. It's like a oh, decoupage. That's and then awesome. The, the little horse is for sale, but not the one above it. Oh, I love that horse. That's beautiful. Yeah. That one's for sale. And then all of these are for sale. And I can do that, this, this one, I can do in other colors and stuff. I can customize all of this. All of these can be customized in colors and textures, sizes. Textures. And then this one. Now, did you have that one with someone's ashes in it too? The, I the can put one? I can put somebody's ashes in it. Yes, that would be really cool. Yeah, and then I do all these wood burnings as well. I don't know. Can you... uh, yeah, that's perfect. So, a little bit lower. Hold the camera there's... just a little lower. Yeah, there you go. There's the. Can we see the one to the left a little bit, the colorful flower? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's better. That's really pretty. And again, that can all be customized. Wow. And then this is another uh, 
resin piece. We found the sand dollar in Mexico, so I put it in resin. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really nice. And then there's uh, the wood burnings. The wood burnings are really pretty. I love the rose one. Oh, the leaf. That's <laughs> those a are all one, you know? Uh huh. Those are all for sale. Is that an eagle? That's a parrot. Oh, can you move it down just a little? Uh -huh. Not it, you, I mean the camera. <laughs> oh. There we go. Oh yeah, now I can tell. Yeah. That's really nice work. So, yeah, I can uh, customize all of that stuff and um, make it different colors, um, different textures if you want. I can include ashes. Um, I can do I can do a wood burning portrait um, and include ashes. I can um, dremel out some of the corners, you know, carve some of the corners and then um, put the ashes in resin into the wood burning. Um, and then I have I just have a couple more pieces that are for sale too. Um, this. Oh my goodness, that is really pretty. And it's framed. Now, is that paint or is that? It's like a it's like a rust color. Oh yeah, that's really nice. I can see a little metallic in the center of it. Yeah, it definitely is metallic. Oh, nice. And then there's this one. Oh, you can add it. And then there's this one. Ah, oh, really lovely. Actually, you could probably hang it anyway. Well, <laughs> it's still your my signature. signature. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your signature. I see that. Yeah. That's really beautiful, though. So. And then whatever I haven't shown is on my um, Forever Feathers page. So um, there's a lot more information about the the cremains and stuff. I I handle all the cremains with care. Um, not a drop gets spilled, and any leftover that I have gets folded up in a napkin and returned to the family because I don't want any bad juju <laughs> coming my way <laughs> so everything is handled with care all the cremains are if there's any leftover from a brush or anything they're brushed onto a um, paper towel and the paper towel is folded up and handed back to the family they can do what they want with it so that's really nice now where are you located approximately i'm in maricopa arizona Oh, okay. Out by the casino. Yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah. I would know that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's yeah. not too far from me. All right. No. Well, so, um, so we'll be able to see like price ideas and things like that on your website as well. Um, I don't normally list prices because they're just all so different. Um, yeah. Because it's just all custom work. Everything's going to be different. Um, I can. Um, I'm going to be launching a new just art site as well, and that'll just be for my my paintings and stuff. Um, so I'm hoping to have that up by I was hoping to have it up already, but it, it just is not materializing. This 2020 is just <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's got a grip on all of us, trust me. <laughs> but um yeah, I, I, right now it's kind of combined as an art and the memorial site and I want to separate the two because it's just not supposed to be together. Um, so once I get the two separated, there'll be a little bit of a, a price range in there, but mm -hmm. just, it's just all custom work. So it's just kind of whatever you kind of want is is what it's gonna be so but the thing about it is is you know 
they may be separate, but I tell you what, our and memories go together very, very nicely. I mean, look at all the money people put in the headstones and you know, right. all the memorials that we see all over our country, you know, from you know, our heroes that you know rest in Arlington to you know, the thing you have on your mantle that reminds you of someone that you love, you know. So right. they're very, art is a very important piece and and what people like you are coming up with is something I think that's very needed. Right. And I, I'm a Patriot Guard writer, so I'm at the cemetery a lot of days during the week and I see a lot mm -hmm. of trains come and go and and when families choose to do something with the cremains, it's not an easy choice, you know, there's so many yeah. families and that this way they can each have a piece and something special and it, it can be so many different ways you know whether it's painting or a piece of jewelry or something to hang on the wall it's you, you guys are the ones that broke this wide open and I really appreciate that yeah it's not as taboo as it used to be it used to be so taboo to keep ashes but now it's it's not um it's not as taboo as it used to be now people are starting to embrace that and it yeah. doesn't make sense anymore to bury a box I don't think I don't think it's not it's not really making sense to people as much as it used to yeah someone just did put a question up they said they asked and I remember seeing a piece on your website uh, it was more of a sculptural piece for ashes do you have any more sculptural pieces for ashes I do. I have a lot of them. I just, they're all gone. I don't have any to show. They're all, they're all gone. But anything that you see on, on my site, I can do. Okay. So those chunky pieces, the, the, the chunks, um, those are 150 and it's just because they are, there's so much resin involved in them. So those are 150. I can tell you that. Even like the sand dollar that you put into that um, resin, uh, you could put ashes in something like that. Like, right. would that cost a lot? Um, that, that? that one, actually, this one would be 200 because this is, I, I do it by um, cc's of resin, and this is actually 250 cc's of resin. So, okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. It gives us an idea of about the resin is it more expensive. But also the type of metal you choose if it's a if it's a jewelry item or whatever. Right. So I can do stainless steel for pretty cheap. Yeah. Know? Like and I it, said, I love stainless steel. So yeah, it holds up great. Um, I prefer it. Um, I I like that, and I like the nine twenty five silver. But most of the time, I go with with stainless steel i mean i'm it's durable it's more durable than the 925 uh right the, the silver five silver yeah and it always stays shiny it doesn't get dull like the silver does the silver yeah. just the stainless steel your silver you always have to keep polishing with that that stainless mm -hmm. steel you just wipe it clean and it's good to go yeah so yeah. All right. Well, we can call it quits at that, but I really, really appreciate you coming on board with this and, and showing us all of your beautiful items that you have to offer and your ideas. Because, mm -hmm. you know, my mind is like going in a hundred different directions right now. So I could probably have a lot of cool ideas for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not well, share them. <laughs> yeah, I will. I definitely will. I mean, people don't just memorialize ashes. They put, you know, baby booties and they make them into bronze. Oh, yeah. You know, all kinds of little memories. Like we, how many medals do we get in our lifetime? I mean, military people, they always have the challenge for yeah. That would be a really cool Oh, your birds are getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a little one. <laughs> uh, so cute. But it's really been fun. I really appreciate it. And Jenny Ann, uh, I won't forget you. And I, I have a feeling I'll be in touch with you. Okay. And I hope a lot of other people will too. All right. It was All fun. Right. Thank right, you, Jenny guess. Ann. Appreciate you coming on. Um, and just a reminder for everyone, we will have the recordings of all the videos up on YouTube through Christmas. Um, you can still watch them on Facebook. You would have to go to past events after they've already aired, but you can still see them on Facebook, but they will be up on YouTube so anybody can watch them. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.
We'll bye see bye. you in two days. Thank you, Jenny Ann. Thank you, Kathy. Bye. bye.